Hi guys, welcome back to the Fragrance Wardrobe. I am Michael and today I am going to review a 2020 release that is perfect, incredible, phenomenal for the fall season. As the title uh, definitely suggested, I am reviewing Pasha de Cartier Parfum. So there are two versions, well actually I guess there's a few flankers, but there's an original that was released in I believe the 90s, and the Parfum version is an updated uh, version of that to give it more depth and better performance. Now I don't have the original, but I'm just relaying what information I gathered from the original and what the differences are between the two. Okay, starting off with the presentation, we do have a box. The box like this, right there, nothing on the side, nothing on the side, some stuff on the back and on the bottom. Now on this one, your batch code is going to be 9GAB, but I can tell you it came out this year. So this is no... This is a 2020 release, so it's not very old. I haven't even checked the match. The bottle, very elegant, very nice design. I like it. Looks like this. That is a pretty neat looking bottle, in my opinion. Looks good on a shelf anyway. And then, of course, on the bottom, we have our batch code. We have our size and concentration listed. All right. I can just smell it out of the atomizer. It smells phenomenal. Show you guys the atomizer. Decent distribution. Man, that is a really, really good scent. Now, it's not going to be for everyone. I can tell you that this is definitely a scent for, well, Anybody could wear it, but I think it's going to appeal the most to people, guys in their mid 20s and up, maybe late 20s and up. It does smell professional, something that you would expect to smell off of someone who wears, I guess, a suit and tie. But of course, you can wear whatever fragrance you want with whatever clothing you wear at any situation. If you love it, wear it. That's my thing on it. But Personally, I think it smells a little bit better dressed up and for the cooler weather. All right, let's go ahead and knock out the notes on this one. Now, Pasha de Cartier Parfum, the 2020 release, is a contemporary fougere. It's going to have notes of patchouli, sandalwood, fir balsam, labdanum, benzoin, and tonka bean. The notes really combine very, very well to give you a very nice, mature, elegant scent this one i say definitely fall weather and winter weather the let's see you can pick up the patchouli a little bit of that fur balsam the benzoin you do definitely pick up the benzoin in this one and it's very smooth there's no sharp edges around this scent it is a very smooth um, scent through and through from open to end uh, and the sandalwood I'm sure smooths all of that out to give you just a really nice smooth fougere uh, type of a fragrance. The performance on this is quite good. I've worn it a couple of times now and I get about eight to nine hours on my skin. Now does that mean you're going to get eight to nine hours? No, it does not. It depends. Everybody has different skin chemistry. Everybody's skin reacts different to fragrance. So for me, I got eight to nine hours, which I think is pretty good. For you, you might get more. You might get a little bit less. So don't take that as gospel that you're going to get the eight or nine hours of performance. Okay, the projection is really good. It's going to project, for me, it projected for two or three hours, really, off of initial spray. I got um, 
probably a little bit more than arm's length projection a little a pretty good scent bubble going on so if you were like in that six foot radius of me you were within that scent bubble and you could pick up this fragrance also it does have a scent trail so it's not sitting so close to the skin or anything like that you do have that bubble and when you pass by people or people are walking behind you they are going to catch whiffs of this and most people i would say like 90 percent of people are going to enjoy the way you smell it does smell really good it smells mature it's a fougere it's 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 a really great fragrance okay talking about cost the cost on this one is in the ballpark of sixty dollars i believe i paid and that is from discounters i think i picked mine up from fragrancex.com typically i go through fragrancex because i don't get charged tax and you know what you see on the low price is what i pay and i like that about them so you can get it from Fragrance Net. I think you could probably pick it up from Forever Lux, and I like them as well. I will drop links to this fragrance from a couple of the different discounters, so you can just click on those and figure out which one's going to give you the better price. Uh, try to take that legwork away from you and do it for you guys, so you're freaking welcome. All right, very, very good fragrance. Do I recommend? Yes, if you are mid-20s and up, if you're a professional, if you like a fougere, and if you're looking for a fall banger, this one has all those qualities. All right, guys, I appreciate you watching. Please remember, like, share, and subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications so you will get notified when I have new content coming out.